Hi, I'm Gene Miller, and I'm playing the Federation team. I'm Jason Zablotny. I'm representing the Klingon Empire. And we're going to run you through the Kobayashi Maru that we played this other week. Well, since I'm, uh, I've got the lowest skill captains, I set up first. We're going to set New Doc just to the uh, just to the left of the Kobayashi Maru. And we're going to put uh, Gowron and Martok kind of behind and to the right of it, so that on that first turn, I move up, I get some pretty good coverage on the Enterprise coming in. I picked Picard because I wanted to be on a map last and get a good view of where the Klingons were coming from. So I put myself as far over to the least defended side. Okay, we choose our maneuvers, and I'm just making all three of my ships sort of bank off to the uh, bank off to the left, and I'm cloaking everybody. My plan is to move forward four. I'm going to discard Incha, and then as I'm getting within range on the first turn. I can actually get a target lock and get those quantum torpedoes out and with command tokens I can actually get a perfect roll on those and hopefully get rid of him. Yeah, we got uh, even with the um, cloak defense dice and a little free evade from uh, Martok. Yeah, he still didn't last the last the first round. So starting off second round, um, we see the Federation is approaching from that left side. So I keep banking uh, Martok and Gowron over that direction, but unfortunately I bounce Martok off the back end of Gowron, so he loses his action. But Gowron still gets another free action. Picard's going to come around to the front side here and go discard Bones and then use Jet Z as a free action. Perfectly line up right alongside Martok, wave to him through the window while. I'm beaming off the first Kobayashi Maru people. This guy's slippier than a Romulan. So next turn, really the only choice I have here is is to do a pair of comeabout maneuvers with both my ships, since he would be completely out of my uh, out of my firing arcs otherwise. I'm going to keep going at full speed and get as far away from them as I can while still orbiting around the Kobayashi Maru. I take my beam action and just cross my fingers and hope. So starting off round four, I got my two ships just to the left of the the Maru there. So I, I bank to the left to, to try and get in front of it and basically trying to, to to pick where he's going to go. Well, he's got two target locks on me, and I just got to take a shot at this, so I'm going to slide around to the side here, and I'm sitting in, in right in front of him, but I'm going to go ahead and beam and invade, and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, the dice didn't do too much for me the last round, so I'm going to pull them straight ahead, and I figure he's got all three, all three of the survivors there. He's going to gun it. Uh, from the edge of the map. I'm going full blast ahead, and you know what? When that four lands, and I am right behind their, both of their arcs lined up, um, I'm actually just going to sit on it. Well, uh, since I uh, had the cloaks on last turn, I'm going to uh, pull forward again. But, so I don't wind up with the same situation where I don't have a shot because he's out of my firing arc, I'm going to sensor echo Gowron. Thankfully, this turn, I am off the board. Uh, four forward plus Jadzia adds another two, and there's the end of the game. Uh, I've actually finished the Kobayashi Maru in six turns. So, as the Klingon player, he played a good game. Um, he, he kind of beat me at my own game on that first turn. Good game. We'd like to give a special thanks to our friend Isaac Vale for letting us use the epic Star Trek theme remix. You can check out this song and more songs on SoundCloud.com or at IsaacVale.com. Thanks to everybody for watching and enjoy the game.